Hi there, Tony Roy from Into Pickle, and we are Pickleball. Want to answer a question that we got from a viewer about a video we just put out on the Into Pickle YouTube channel that has to do with respecting the X. The X is a really important concept to understand if you want to know which player on your team should hit a ball based on the way the ball is traveling. And the question that we got was whether the player on the blue team here should cross the center line in order to hit a ball hit from this direction over to the, into onto the blue side of the court. Uh, whether this player should cross the center line to hit it or whether this player should hit the ball. If you want to understand Respect the X, we prepared a Respect the X strategy breakdown. It's a free download. You can get it at wearepickleball.com. I'll link to it below. Go there and get your Respect the X strategy breakdown so you can really understand this concept. Respecting the X and understanding it will really help improve your play. All right, let's answer the question. So the, the, I've set up the board here where the ball's over here. The player, the yellow player is going to hit the ball on a diagonal. So basically the ball is going to come from here across like this. So it's going to come on this sort of a trajectory. And then the question is when the ball is here, who should hit this ball? So assume the dink bounces around here and it's going to be hit around here. Who should hit this ball? Should the player on the right side of the blue court hit the ball because the ball is on that player side of the court or should the player on the left side of the, of the court, the blue player on the left side of the court, hit that ball? The answer is that the player on the left side of the court should hit that ball because the ball is traveling in, that, or in the direction of that player. Who should hit the ball is not determined simply by it's on the right side or it's on the left side of the court. In this case, because the ball is traveling in this direction, the player on that end of that axis of the X should hit the ball. If you want to see the complete X, what you would do is you would draw a line like this. So now you can see the X there. There's the two line, two axes of the X. Based on respect the X, this player should hit the ball, even if it involves crossing over the center line. Strategies like the X and respect the X are part of the strategic pillar of pickleball. At We Are Pickleball, we've devised the three pillars of pickleball. You have the mechanical pillar, the strategic pillar, and the athletic pillar. As you work on improving as a pickleball player, make sure you're paying attention to all three of the pillars. Join us at We Are Pickleball and let us help you become the pickleball player that you want to be. Be well out there.